If you don't know, the Digimon card game is actually based off a show that aired back in 1999. Yeah, I know. I mean, technically, it's based off a reboot of that show, but, you know, you get the point. In the show, there are eight Digidestined, and in this episode... Episode, what? I'm not doing a show. And in this video, I'm going to be basing my deck around the crest alone. So, if Biomon is your favorite Digimon, or you're just here for a good time, you come to the right spot. My name is Ty, we're talking card games. If you're new to the channel, here at Where TCG, we talk card games. If it's shiny or in cardboard, probably gonna talk about it. If any of that interests you, think about subscribing and commenting down below if you find any of this content informative or useful or any critiques, I wanna get better and I wanna make better content for you. So please do that. To start this off, you might be wondering why Sora? She's in the main group, but she's not really like, you know, the leader of it. You know, like, you know, the head ones are like Tyre Matt. Sora is the crest of love, and if you're unaware, love is in the air. So, being Valentine's Day, I thought, let's make a deck based around these two characters. If you haven't already, I highly recommend watching the Digimon anime. Granted, really low quality, but amazing character development and story writing. The show makes these characters deal with some problems that many kids and adults can relate to. Minus the fact that they're in the digital world with digital monsters, the rest is real as fuck. Sora is portrayed as a tomboy-like girl, She's smart, she's level-headed, and she really uh, is kind of the sense of reason for the group. Usually when like Ty and Matt go off the deep end, she's able to reel them back in. But with all that, she has her own problems. So back in the real world, Sora's mother is kind of overprotective. She doesn't allow Sora to play in the championship game. It makes her stay at home. She must be the absolute unit on the soccer field because when her team loses, she blames herself and this really makes her resent her mother. Okay, so fast forward into the digital world. Sora doesn't let Biomon go fight to save her friends because she doesn't want Biomon to get hurt. This is when Sora realized why her mother, why, ugh, why her mother, why? Why her mother, why? Why her mother, why? It took Sora to love something so much to realize why her mother was the way she was and why she treated her the way she treated her. After this realization, the crest of love lights up and Biomon, da, 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 Digimon. I'm telling you, Digimon goes do. Now with all that background out of the way, let's get into the Sora Biomon tribal deck. Start this off, we're gonna start with the babies or eggs of the deck, and we're running for the Yokomon. Reason being, this is Biomon's baby form, and uh, there's no other Yokomon, so we're only running four in this deck. What Yokomon does, came out in BT1, uh, when attacking, your Digimon attacks an opponent's Digimon, it gets a thousand for the turn. So this is going to allow you to attack other Digimon and get a DP boost for it. So that's the egg. So now running on to the level fours. Fours, we're gonna skip three because we don't need it. Now getting into the level threes, we run 14. First, we're running four of Biomon from EX01. Biomon's inheritable is when attacking, when this Digimon attacks a player, you draw one. So if you attack the security or the player, you're gonna draw a card, which is, um, you know, drawing is always great. So this is your draw engine, almost. There's more. Next, we're running Promo 2 Biomon. We're running that out of four of. This one is on your turn when your Digimon deletes your opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, you draw one. So this allows you to, if you swing over, you will draw one over that. Next, we're running three of the Starter Deck 1 Biomon. This is your two drop. This is just going to be able to play cheap rookies uh, with an on play. Just uh, they don't have an on play. They're just cheap to play. So you run them. Next, we're running three of the blocker Biomon from starter deck seven. One thing when doing these styles of decks is a lot of times there isn't a blocker or you have to you know, put in a blocker that you know isn't a part of the tribal line and it kind of feels wrong but like it's kind of nice this one has that so yep yeah it's a 3k blocker you know maybe not the best blocker in the game but you know it is one and it stays with the Biomon trend so uh yeah uh, only problem with this one is uh, it, it can't attack players. So you can't attack into the security with this Digimon. You can only attack other opponents' Digimon. That is rounding on to level 3s. Now on to the level 4s. We run 12. First one we're running is BT1 Bergemon. Uh It has an on play of when this Digimon, uh, one of your Digimon gains security attack plus 1. Um, it is a play cost of 4 with a 2 Evo. Reason I'm running this, this might not come up that much, but... Um, if you look at your pool options for BU, um, for bird Dramons, they all have the pretty much on play of four and none of them really have inheritables except one. So 
might as well play the one that has the option of giving you a bonus rather than the one from the starter deck one that's just a thousand bigger next we are running four of the Bergermon from bt2 this one has the effect of when attacking the player this digimon gets plus four thousand so when this one swings at uh, security it's swinging for 7k next we are running four of the bergeron from ex01 uh this one is when attacking this digimon attacks a player it deletes one of your opponent's digimon 3000 or less this is just going to allow you to um you know delete other things it's a nice inheritable you can't complain with this so i was rounding off the level fours and now we're on to the level fives and we run eight we run four of the Gardramon from bt1 this one has piercing which is nice um and then it has a inheritable of when this digimon is blocked trigger draw one so you're swinging into the stack you're either drawing a card with the biomon or if they block it you're drawing a card for being blocked next we are running four of the Gardramon from ex01 this one has the inheritable when attacking. This Digimon attacks the player, it gains a memory. So if you attack in the security or attack the player, you're going to gain a memory. If you can't tell, a lot of what Biomon's line kind of does is give you bonuses for swinging at security. So that's rounding off the level fives. Now we're on to the level sixes, and we run six. First, we are running four of the EX01 Phoenixmon. This one has security attack plus one, and when attacking, when this Digimon attacks a player, it draws two. So you're going to be having a ton of draw power in this deck. You're just going to be, your hand's going to be huge. And last, we're running two of the Phoenix Mon from starter deck one. Uh, reason being, this is a two Evo, uh, 12K. It's a vanilla, but this is going to allow you to get into your level sixes pretty quick, have a bigger body and do damage. All right, so that's running off the Digimon of the deck. Now we're going to get into the option cards. Uh, first, we are running two of the Red Memory Boost. Uh, reason being... Uh, three cost, uh, reveal top four cards to your deck, add one red Digimon card to your hand, put the rest of your bottom, delayed, gain two memory. This is going to allow you to get that two memory. Just memory gain is always nice, so having that is a good searcher and memory gainer because this deck can draw a ton of cards, but it doesn't search. I mean, I guess drawing and searching are like the same thing, but, you know, can't hurt to have more. Next, we're running two Gaia Force. Reason being, uh, Gaia Force, it's red. You're going to play Gaia Force. It's just a way to remove. Best removal in the game. Next, we're running two of the Atomic Blaster. Atomic Blaster came out in the starter deck seven. Uh, this one is uh, choose any number of your opponent's Digimon, whose DP adds up to 8,000, and delete all of them. Um, this is just a good board wipe, if, especially if you're playing against Rookie Rush. They got a lot of guys out. You can do this. Get rid of mostly everything on board. Last, we're running one of the Lightning Joust. This one is an interesting little tech, but what it's going to do, it came out in the starter deck seven. It's a one cost. It's going to give your Digimon plus 2,000. So if you're equal to or less than your opponent's uh, security stack, you can give one of your Digimon security attack plus one. So this is going to allow your Phoenixmon to swing for three checks. So that rounds out the option cards. We ran seven, and now we're running three Tamers. And we're running the main girl herself, Sora. I'm not even going to try to pronounce her last name. <laughs> She's a three cost uh, and one of your red Digimon attacks player. You can suspend this tamer to gain 2000 for the turn. So Sora is going to allow you to increase the DP of your Digimon when they swing into security. So if you pair that up, even with the level four Bergeron that gives it plus 4000, you add this to it as well. That's going to be a 9k level four. That's not too bad. Um, so you're able to get good amount of damage you're allowed to in you can increase your dp really fast with this deck and the sore helps you do that there's no memory tamers because there is no memory tamers with sora in it i wanted to keep this true to the tribalness of this that's why i run memory boost if you're having trouble with getting to that you know threshold of three memory that's why i also included the phoenix mon uh the two evo the red memory boost is going to help you, you know get the memory and the Sora is going to help you get the DP so you don't die to security other than option cards. So that was the deck list. What this deck really strives for and what it's good at is drawing cards and increasing your DP when you attack security. So what's great about this deck is that if you attack security, you're you know, going to be getting your DP and drawing cards. If you're blocked, you're going to be drawing cards and gaining DP. Either way, what's going on with this deck, you're going to be, uh, you get a bonus if you hit in security and you get a bonus if you get blocked. What this deck kind of lacks is that memory tamer. Uh, if you wanted to not stay consistent with the, you know, Sora theme, but you wanted to run mainly this deck, 
uh, I would uh, recommend adding Ty Kamiya from BT1. He's just going to add that memory tamer and give you an additional security attack, which is always great. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this deck and who do you want me to do next? So which Digi Destin? What character? Who? What type of deck you want me to make next? I'll make it. It'll be fun. Comment down below. It'll be great. Also, join the Discord. It's going to be down below too. We have a great community of people into all sorts of different cards. So. Whatever you're into, we probably got someone in there who knows a little bit about it, and maybe we can have a chat. And then if you ever want to play games with me or whatever, join the Discord. Mm, message me. Cool. I love making decks that you know might not be the extreme meta relevant or just cards you may have never thought of to run. It's just uh, it's something I like to do. I personally never liked playing like oh, I'm gonna make the best deck in the format so I win constantly. I'd rather make a deck, maybe a little gimmicky, and if I win feels great if i don't oh well it doesn't matter i do this for fun seriously highly recommend watching the show if you haven't watched it really do it's great well my, my name is ty we just talked card games peace <laughs>